excited. So, the first show, of uh, course, is the Southeast Asia show. So we will be having the first um, set, set of our competitions for today. Starting out with the Southeast Asian show, we'll do all the, um, the winners for the various categories. And then from then on, um, from, from the best baby puppy, well in this particular case, the best, uh, the, der the derby winner, all the way to the best baby puppy, up to the best in show we will finish that for the southeast asia show and then next up will be the asia and the pacific or apac show uh, same routine and then the last will be the fci show <clears throat> now for those of you who were not able to catch the individual uh, uh, judging that was that was featured that was featured in our um, live presentation. Tomorrow, um, there will be a new set of judges that will judge uh, the various breeds on, and the various groups. And we will be live streaming two groups again tomorrow, two different groups. Because today we had <clears throat> uh, live streaming only for the um, um, snossers, pinchers, and molosoi. Uh, we were planning to, to do um, live streaming for the um, pastoral dogs or the cattle dogs. Unfortunately, there were some technical difficulties and that prevented us actually from um, <coughs> broadcasting the live streaming. So hopefully we will do much better tomorrow and we will be able to bring you the live stream for the, planned, the two planned shows for tomorrow to plan groups rather for tomorrow okay so uh, the prejudging is now going on and eventually we will be having the actual competition now joining me is a very good friend of the PCCI who has been a regular every year for the Philippine circuit show none other than Mr. Vince Hogan from the United Kingdom yes it's on he will be taking over because in a little while I'll be judging as well, so I will have to leave um, you with him. Thank you, Fred, and good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Magadang Gabi. Yes, Magandang Gabi. It's been a busy day. It has been. It has been. So, first time I've sat here in the booth, I see you've got screens on either side. Yes. So you, you'll be able to see what's uh, happening. Yep. On the other ring, you, you'll probably see later on the comments because some of the viewers can actually comment. So and ask questions. Yes, or ask yep. questions is the case. Maybe. So we're just waiting for for the pre-judging to be completed and then we'll start off with the um, derby competition. I mean, in fairness, you know, most shows that I ever do around the world, the first day is always the clickiest day. I, uh, I can, I can. You know, I, I think so, because everybody's trying to get the hand of the race. The stewards are trying to find the judges. Some judges have never judged here before, finding their way around. Uh, and you've been busy today. You know, it is, we have been. <laughs> it's a record entry. Yes, this is the first time that uh, we, we've had this many entries. And what's so surprising is uh, a large number of our regulars especially the foreign countries that normally would send us the biggest countries, we're not able to send any competitors or exhibitors sure, now. China, you, You've Russia, got a delivery coming left on here. Fred's uh, just taking delivery of some of the prizes for Best in Show. These are provided by Puddleby Arts. It's okay. Toshi from Australia. Uh, he's now Australian, he's not Japanese. He's, well, he is Japanese based in Australia. I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we've had uh, additional... Uh, had additional prices that were donated by one of our uh, sponsors. Yeah, 
20 years old. Um, this is uh, from Mr. Toshi. He's a Japanese that's based in Australia. It's, uh, it's been since the last point of time. This one is for, one is for uh, the Benson Show. Uh, another. We got, a, we got a, a plethora of prizes. So this one is, is that the FCI one? Fifth Asia, Oceana, yes. Three. So, uh, yeah, so, so this will be for the three, the three best shows because we have three shows. This one will be for the Southeast Asia, okay? Southeast Asia show. This one that Vince is holding is for the uh, APAC show. Yep. Yes, and this one I think will have to be the FCI That's show. Right. Let's see how it works. This is on top of this range of uh, yes. Super we rosettes we have over yes. there. I brought one over from UK as well. Oh, this is a, I know this is a, a booklet. It's a zip. Yes. It's like a, a jotter, a pen, and it's all engraved on the front with different breeds as well. Yes. Hard so to focus on now, but. Uh, yes. This is for the FCI show, best in show. Yeah. Something special for the, the show. So Southeast Asia goes first, so this goes first. Yeah, we need to we need to give it to the girls and boys now, the students. Yes. Let me just. We can't move here. Yes. No, there's no room yes. for Fred's I'll, pizza here either. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> take care of this while you man the man the store. Yeah, no problem. I mean, Fred's going to be away soon anyway, judging himself. So uh, the, the boys and girls at the PCA, so they all work very hard, these stewards and. All around the world, it's the same thing as well. That uh, without these well volunteers or, or paid workers in the background, you can't stage shows like this very easily. So there's always a very much a dedicated band here, at PCCI. I, I can see I can see myself here on the screen. I have no idea where you guys have got cameras positioned because it's the first time I think uh, PCCI have had this facility. Previous years, we have had a live stream about three years ago when we last did the show in 2020. Fred and I, and uh, also Ping Ping from Thailand, did one of the, the streams here. But uh, we've got all high tech, and we can see some comments I think coming up now. Somebody just said, Excellent connection, always an issue with Wi Fi. So if you do have some questions, I think we'll be able to get to them. Give us a like as well. It's always nice to see some likes and hearts coming through. Especially if you see breeds that you like coming through as well. And I think I heard Dinky Santos. Dinky, of course, is the president of PCCI. He was giving the judges some instruction earlier on. There, there is pre-judging in the rings just at the far end of the arena. And uh, they're just calling certain names, certain numbers. This is pre-judging for the best derby in show, derby as we would say in the UK. And uh, I can see Dinky down there organizing things as well. If you, uh, you, you're probably not listening if you're entering here, but once you've called their number, the number you need to get over there for the pre-judging. Our judges are all sat here on the top table. I can see David Miller from the USA, Pam also from the USA, Thomas Yackel, President of the FCI has been judging here, and he's only just arrived from Sweden, where he was judging a show called My Dog. And he's had a lot of flies as David giving us away. David runs the show, the Regatta Classic, in Cleveland, in uh, Ohio. I say Thomas has been judging in Sweden at the My Dog show, so he flew from Hungary to Sweden, and from Sweden back to Hungary on Monday and then made the long trip back over here to Philippines. Uh, coming in front of me is Lois Wilson, also based in the uh, UK now, ex-South uh, ex African judge, now in the UK. And she's been judging also in Malaysia. So Fred's now in the ring waiting to judge. According, um, we can hear Dinky in the background. Okay, so you might have heard that in the background. I always go quiet. Number eight, number 
So Dinky's announcing the pre-judging. Best junior in the show is going to be judged by Anna Mesto from Spain. And the best puppy in the show is Adrian Landarte. So Dinky is now actually going to be making another announcement about the mayor as well. This is it. Our stewards announcing the missing dogs at the moment. Best juniors, I say, Anna Mesto, a famous judge from Spain. Not So you can now you can see Dinky from your screen. He's just been provided with a microphone to uh, to tell folks what's going on. <clears throat> so if you are watching live now, and I can see we've already got about 40 people have joined us, do ask some questions or anything you're not sure of. Just pop a uh, a comment on there. We like to see those. Not too sure how the technology is working here, but. Uh, I can see various. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 2023. Here's the welcome by Dinky Santos. It's been three years since 2020, since we last had our Philippine circuit. I don't know whether you can hear Dinky. There he is on the screen there now yeah. making the announcement. We have the biggest enemy today ever. Fred, just a quick question. When we're speaking here, can people hear Dinky over us, do you think? Uh, yes, they could. You can, so. Because it will go inside, uh, you know, it will, it will be captured by a microphone. So, but I think if you speak, your voice will be louder than his, so you can actually... Uh, first, yeah. Dutch is from the United States of America, Mr. David Miller. He will talk the best. So you probably heard Dinky there, and in the ring you see on screen David Miller. Also operates under a French name, Jean. I can't remember what he says, but he's actually he's half French. That's his. David's next judging appointment is in France next weekend. Fred, I'm not sure what the uh, the viewers uh, are picking up as well, but the quality of the screen here is very good. Ah, that's, yeah. I mean, if that translates out to people watching uh, at home. Yes, that, that, that's good. It's, We're improving. Yeah, it's it's a clear reception. Again, I'm not sure whether we are getting any chat coming through. There's, there's nothing coming through uh, as we see on here as well. well no, maybe nobody's commenting yet. Yeah. So if you've not commented, do so. Let us know what you think. Who are your favourite oh, dogs? He's the ring. If you've just joined us, this is the Philippines Derby or Derby. Yes, that, the Philippine Derby will be for. Uh, dogs that were born for a particular year. In this case, that would be for 2019. All best of breed winners that were born in 2019 automatically would be qualified to compete in the Philippine Derby for the Southeast Asia show. And do they have to be Philippines born? Um, or bred? Uh, yes. Yes. I think, wasn't that something you brought in to encourage breeders in the Philippines? Um, I, I think so. No, no, they're, they're not. They don't have to be born in the Philippines. Some of them may be born elsewhere for as long as they were born in a particular year. Right. 
So he's choosing a representative per group because yeah. there may be several dogs uh, coming in from different breeds in a group. So he's choosing the best in the in a particular group. So at the end of the day, you may have if all breeds, if all groups are properly properly yeah. represented. He will have ten dogs. So this is now the Spitz group of five. Spitz is this is live, live stream. Your this is yeah. It's, um, it's on their YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. I'll probably do one of mine as well in a little while. Very experienced Judge David Miller. Mm -hmm. in, you him a lot. Mm, in demand all over the world. I mean, his, um, his, 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 flight, his flight times this year, he's spent a lot of time in the air. He judged in Vietnam earlier this well, towards the end of last year. Judging in France, as I say, next weekend. Mm -hmm. Gives a lot of seminars. Uh, he bases it on a book by Richard Beauchamp called Mysteries of Breed Type. And, and he's like famous for it. Has his own cluster of shows in uh, in Ohio. He's judging in Vietnam with uh, another American judge, Cindy Vogels. Oh yeah, uh, Cindy was here it, yeah. last the last time, yeah. the last edition. And also a Dutch judge called Hans Vandenberg. That concludes our last derby show winners for today. So now uh, the representatives from each group has been selected, and Mr. Miller will now choose his best in show. And this is the first time David's seen these dogs. He um, didn't prejudge this, did he? Uh, he did. He, he did. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. No, that's right. uh, he, ha he may have seen some of them because he was judging. Yeah, in the breeds. Yeah, in the breeds. Representing the the first group, this is the Pembroke Welsh Corgi that Mr. Miller is now evaluating. So, Fred, if somebody I know, obviously, if people are watching now, they would know. But where is the uh, the connection for the YouTube transmission? Is it a link on Facebook or? It's on PCCI. I, I have to be honest with you. I, I'm not. I don't know. No, I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> we, we'll, we'll have to find that out so that when we do the, the same thing tomorrow night, we'll be able to give them the link. Well, and I want to share it as well uh, to yeah. people who might not know. And I'm trying to go online uh, myself to the YouTube just to see whether the comments because. Uh, it's always nice to see them. We have nearly 60 live viewers at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Mr. Miller is now um, evaluating the representative from Group 2. This is a Rottweiler. Of course here, Rottweilers are still allowed to be docked, which uh, in a lot of places in Europe is not, uh, yes. not permissible nowadays. Yes. But that's what you find around the world, you know, different scenarios. The, uh, the, the docking issue is actually quite controversial and, uh, and uh, cropping as well, of course, I, in Europe. I, I wonder how the dog people are taking it there, you know, because most of this is essentially not voluntary. This is imposed by their various governments. Yes, correct. Yeah, so correct. It's pretty sad, actually, for some of the, the serious breeders who have 
practically aged, you know, and being familiar with the particular way a dog is presented. Well, well they're the experts. Um, and what we find in Europe now, there's a lot of the lawmakers who are not experienced with breeds are yes. taking decisions that or are, the, uh, well, the they're breeds. affecting the very existence of, of certain well, brachiophallic breeds in particular. I can imagine that a lot of these breeds will be evolving in the next few years to the point that, you know, they... They, they won't look like what they... Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. The, the issue started, there was a lot of problems in Holland, in the Netherlands, for brachiophilic breeds, French Bulldogs, Shih Tzus, Bulldogs. Then it happened again, in Germany got worse. And to actually enter a show in Germany, there's a lot of health testing and requiring requirements. And then it's moved across into Austria. So these things have this habit that one government follows another one. I don't think you've had that issue here not in yet. Southeast Asia at all. Not yet. Hopefully we will not have that kind of an issue. I mean, that's why there's an onus on kennel clubs as well to, uh, to educate breeders as well. Mm -hmm. And for breeders to have those, those correct breed standards. Got a bit of music playing now, Fred, in the background. <laughs> With a smooth oh. jazz. Um, excuse me for a while, I'll just make some coordination. Yeah, yeah. Well, while Fred's going away, I, I'm trying to find uh, the connection for the stream. Because I'm surprised that we'd, we're not seeing any comments coming through, which would be nice to get your feedback. You probably, you might even be out there saying you're trying to do it, but. Uh, can't see it. Is, is Dinky giving you the background? Quite late already here, it's uh, quarter past nine, so you've got quite a few best in shows to go through. So I think I've found the YouTube channel. After the, uh, the derby, we also have. Um, Best veteran, best baby puppy, best puppy in show, best junior in show. I have from uh, Estonia, Marco Leposar judging best brace. Simon Sim from the Philippines is doing best progeny. There's also a best kennel group in show and best junior handler. Uh, these are actually on YouTube. I'm trying to find it as well. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a YouTube connection like that. Just talking to uh, Rebecca Cross, famous handler from the USA. Uh, she's already had some people from Dog News saying hello to her through uh, my Our Dogs channel earlier on. Chris King and uh, Chris King, people like that said. So, Say to say hello to Rebecca Cross, who's over here Hi, handling a Scottish Terrier and probably a Jack Russell, and you name it, she'll handle it. You name it, she'll handle it. <laughs> so we're uh, we're now approaching nearly a hundred viewers live, which is great. Well done, guys. Thanks for joining in. I'm doing my best to join the stream myself, just so uh, I can see what you guys are seeing. So we're still missing some dogs from the Southeast Asia. Best puppy in the show.
Right. Mark Taylor, thank you. Hi from the UK, thanks for joining in, Mark. Do feel free to share the, uh, the connection. And I can see one from uh, Teatro Beagles as well. Doesn't see a beagle. Did Al Brie get knocked out during the group stage? Well, this is just the Philippines Derby. This is the first of the, uh, the Best in Show program. Right, we don't see a beagle. Whether one was taking uh, was taking part, Mark, I'm not too sure. I think he's he's come to a decision here anyway. So Dinky will announce the uh, the winners. I'm assuming three, two, one. So all dogs born in 2019. That's they qualify for this particular. The Rock Island. Rock Island. Second place. David heading down the line towards the side here. Second place goes to the Sabrina Sea. Very popular breed here in the Philippines. Show winner under Mr. David Miller goes to the Samoyed. The best derby winner is the Samoyed. The best derby winner Dogs born in 2019. That's how that particular uh, class works. David will be back judging, I think, best veteran. Firstly, heads over to the podium for photographic duties. There you go, you can see that on the screen now. Just in front of all the judges. There you go, live on YouTube at the Philippine Canine Club site. Official photographs spun by Ferdinand Chandra from Indonesia and Chris Chu. Chris Chu from Taiwan, those are the two official photographers. Let's see your top table, Gopi Krishnan from Malaysia, Linda Volikarova from Slovakia, our Italian judge. This is Adrian Landate from uh, Uruguay, also very high up in the FCI, serves on a lot of committees. Let uh, Dinky introduce the breeds here. Keep those comments coming, I'm kind of stuck at Mark Taylor, you're the last one to comment. So this is best, best baby puppy. And Mark Taylor, if you're still watching, there's a beagle for you. Best, best baby with Adrian Landate. These are dogs aged three to six months. So it gets them ring ready at three to six months at least anyway, it sort of breaks the ice. Yes, at, at least this is good training for yeah. for dogs that, uh, for puppies that seem to be very promising. Yeah, and, uh, and you know, it gets them used to the, the atmosphere, Fred, as well, the, the noise and yes, the exactly. uh, lights and everything. Exactly. Because um, this this would be a period where they can easily adjust. Yeah. Now, if they a, a lot of short dogs will have to be trained to, to to learn how to act in very noisy environments. As, as people say, they want to make them bomb proof, don't they? Bomb proof. That, that, that's that's how it goes. Seven, 
So you'd be pleased to know, Fred, we've crept up to nearly 100 viewers live now. So okay. it's just on about 94, 95. Oh, there, are, there are questions already. Well, there are a couple come through. Just We've said hello to Mark Taylor, uh, who's in the UK, watching. And uh, one question from somebody in Beagles. That's it so far. Okay. <laughs> if you're out there, just, just put a comment on or let us know. It's just nice to know that uh, life exists out, outside of the arena. It's not taken Adrian too long to make his decision as well. Well, he has seen them in uh, prejudging. Yeah. So I'm sure he already has. Yeah, he's got in mind. So his third place dog is the Golden Retriever. Corgi. What's your bet? Which one's your bet? Chow Chow. Yes. Oh, yes. Right. yes. <laughs> that was a very quick assessment by me. <laughs> the Chow Chow puppies are real standout. And the entry was high in Chows today. Oh, yes. yes. That would surprise me. Uh -huh. I think they'll probably keep him in the ring and he's also doing best puppy now as well. So that's a deviation, Fred, from what Dinky's just announced. So all the best puppies are coming in from every best, yes. of, best uh, puppy in yes. the breed. Yes. So that, that's usually the case, where the best puppy, you know, all the breeders, yeah. all the breed winners, not get to So it's not done on a group basis. Yeah, that's so it's a, yes. it's a good job is prejudged. So it. You, you really have to prejudge. Yeah. You have so many. I always like that when Dinky encourages the crowd, you know? keeps people involved. Yes. So, so you have schnauzers in different colours, so I've yes. ended up with three. Yeah. Different sizes. Yeah. But you had three miniature schnauzers then. Is it like uh, a... That, salt and pepper. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can see the other one. Labrador. John Rizé. Reganese. White Bull. Red. Ah. Well, these are all our best coffee and green winners. Excuse me. From this Asia message show, which only went for 30. And this year, America's and Caribbean section will be hosted by the Israel and Arctic in Uruguay. Yes, what Dink is... Um... What Dink is just announcing there is the FCI Americas and Caribbean section show is going to be organized by Adrian Landarte in Uruguay. Um, in a very nice show center, he was telling me earlier on. So we hit three figures, Fred. You're in 100, and, I'm, and, and one of them isn't me. I'm still trying, to, still trying to find it. We're still stuck with Mark Taylor has been the last comments as well. Now, of course, you get people here from all over Asia, don't you? Yes. Uh, our, our biggest um, um, 
entries. Entries yeah. came from Thailand, if I'm not mistaken. Followed by Indonesia, I think. Yeah, the Thailand team always, they seem to travel as a group as well. Yes, they, they, uh, do. they do. You see them on all their Facebook yes. posts, uh, they're heading over. Well, as I mentioned, we did not have the, the number one, the number one um, country for the last so many years, and that's China. Mm. We used to have many, many more, and then yes. the second biggest entry would come from Russia, and we don't also have that. Yeah. So geopolitical issues. So uh, there's a shortlist being pulled out by Adrian now. It's Fred said that all these were prejudged, so uh, he's, he's cut these down to about eight, is it, Fred? So we'll yes. give each dog another opportunity to move. And a lot of the guys from Thailand and the in fact, Asia in general wear these very smart jackets and these, aren't they? Very, very fancy. Yes, whether they be Indonesians or Thais or even Chinese, yeah. uh, they, they would wear these very smart looking That's jackets. right, these outfits. It's not something we get in the UK. Dobermans. Normally, nor normally you wouldn't see that with Koreans though. No. Or the <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> Definitely a Thai thing. So why are Dobermans so popular here? Well, in Asia, for the longest time, big dogs seems to be the, the thing. The thing. Yeah. But lately, you're seeing you know, all these cute dogs. Pomeranians, Pomeranians and uh, Bichons. Uh, maybe because uh, of the grooming thing. Um, grooming activities have become a big thing in it's always amazing when you see the photograph of these rooms with 200 tables yes. all set yes, out when, ready when, and, uh, when they do the competitions yeah wow we have nothing like that in the uk we do, we do have grooming exhibitions and in europe and there's one very big one in belgium Cortric, which is international but Asia does that, so... Like, how, this, many, how many entries would you have in Belgium, which you said is the biggest one? Yeah, and she, she'd have a, a good few hundred, I think, overall. It's a big. It's like two or three days, and it's just dedicated to grooming. But it's not like we see here, like, this whole one arena one would be... Hole, yes, absolutely, one, yeah. One whole basketball court. Yeah, correct, and it's quite a spectacle, really, as well. Yes, and all of them will be wearing almost the same thing. And then you will have, you will have teams or yeah. grooming schools, yeah. you know, it's like it's like a, an Olympics of some sort. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the grooming schools are actually competing. And the grooming, I mean, I've seen some guy, Benny, a uh, guy from Thailand, grooming Pomeranian today. They are really their masterclass groomers, you know, when they do these things. So a good opportunity to actually mention, Fred, uh, the book that you've actually produced uh, for 60 years of PCCI. Yes, yes we, we did produce the book over a period of two years. Uh, we're supposed to have started before the onset of the pandemic. Unfortunately, the pandemic came and so um, the operations of the club has been put to a certain you know, status. To one side. Yes, yes to one side. And uh, when things got a bit more normalized, we were able to start, but rather slow. Uh, it's, it's difficult because uh, the documentation, especially during the earlier years, was rather poor. The, the office then had to transfer to so many places. And you know how it is when, when, when offices get transferred. Okay. We'll, we'll come back to Fred in a second because it's. Uh, Pomeranian. It's the Pomeranian third, third spot. Second place. Goes to the Jack Russell 
it's not the Doberman, is it? The, uh, the Norwich. Ladies and gentlemen, rest of the show with It's a smart little puppy, Fred, isn't it? Yes. Terriers are always very alert yeah. and up and about yeah. type of dogs. Ready for action. So that's uh, that's Adrian's stint finish anyway now. It's his fellow judges sitting on the panel at the back there. Pam from the States and uh, the chap from Romania, Conrad. Thomas Yakel, Linda. Lady from Serbia whose name I can't pronounce. And Kim LeBlanc from Canada. Massimo from Italy, Gopi Krishnan. So we're back to David Our David Miller. For the best man for the show is Mr. David Miller from the United States of America. This is going to be a marathon front. So we have only three veterans that are up for judging. We have a um, Siberian Husky, a German Short-Haired Pointer, and a Shih Tzu. Best veteran in show under David Miller from USA. You know, one thing with the Siberian Huskies, even when they are in the veteran class, they are still very, very competitive. In fact, some of them seem to get better when they <laughs> with reach age. the. <laughs> yeah, when they reach the. Bill, I mean, you, Fred, <laughs> like a fine wine. Anyway, we were talking about uh, your book. Okay. Which is uh, very well researched. Yes, um, as I was mentioning a while ago, it took us uh, a bit of... It, it was a bit difficult gathering all those photographs and all those records because the PCCI did not have a permanent office for the longest time. They transfer from one office to another. And in a large, to a large extent, when you do that, we tend to lose a lot of those records. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we had to contact all members, we have to reconstruct so many things just to be able to capture you know, sure. the more important things that happen. Well, I, mean, I, I know, I mean, I, I've got every R Dogs issue back to 1895 really? in my office. For you. It's a very big wall. <laughs> cool. And that's a, that's a weekly paper. So, 52 weeks a year for 126 years. Good for you. <clears throat> um, uh, you know, I, I cannot say the same thing for the Philippines because even our national records, because we have been through many wars, right, and various stages, fires, yeah, yeah. And earthquakes, and yeah. well, typhoons. You know, we tend to lose a lot of our well, one, one way or the other, despite Fred saying all of that, the book is fantastic. And um, it's a great record of 60 years of the PCCI. 
we're just uh, we were just talking over Dinky introducing Ana Mesto from Spain. Anna's a world famous judge, particularly in Yorkshire Terriers, that was her breed. But just to finish off on the book, it's 4,500 pesos. You can pick a copy up on the Our Dogs booth here at the show, if you're coming to the show. The, the money's going obviously to PCCI because it must have cost a lot to produce Fred as well because yes. it's a substantial publication. Yes, it's 300 pages and um, it's printed in very good paper. It is. Yes, actually, um, the thickness of the paper for the regular pages is actually, you know, much, much more than what you will have in... It's like a 130 grams, something like yes, that. I can, I yes, yes, I that. think so. And um, so it's also for, for people who've been coming to the circuit over the last maybe 10 years, 10 years approximately, 9 years, you see all the, uh, the best in show lineups, a lot of the judges who judged in that period as well. I mean, I, I was even surprised to see myself in the book for a couple of the presentations as well. You know, this, this should have been the 10th year of the Philippine circuit. Right. Except that, you know, we were not able to hold uh, the circuit for two years. But this would have been the 10th anniversary. And this is also the 60th year of the PCCI. So, yeah. you know, that's a... It was significant uh, timing. Yeah. We, we actually... I worked very hard to be able to produce it in time for the Philippine Service Show because this is the kickoff um, event for the celebration of the 60th year yep. of the PCCI. Well, it's good you got a good entry and everything at the show anyway, despite sort of missing that opportunity. If you're again just joining us, and there's over 130 people now watching live, thank you for joining. You're watching Anna Mesto go over the best junior in show. And this is in the Southeast Asia event. And I'm still having trouble to try and join the, uh, the stream as well through Wi-Fi on my phone. These are all group winners. So the best junior in show is done on a group basis? Yes, it is. And this is FCI groups, 10 groups? 10 groups, yes. So if everybody's enjoying this watching from home, there's still a good crowd here in the arena. It was very busy earlier on. Decision time. So the Samoyed again. Yeah. I think Anna's coming in this direction. Don't know why. Why is I think she's coming down to the Doberman? I think she likes it. Yes. Yeah. So, best junior in show, Southeast Asia. And the best junior in the show tonight. The Dachshund or the Corgi? The Corgi. Ladies and gentlemen, our best junior in the show. We are about to approach our first best in show for tonight. These are the dogs that won groups today at the Sea Championship Show. The first show for the circuit. The first show in three years. Our two official photographers again, Chris and Ferdinand, from Taiwan and Indonesia, respectively. Both very well known in this area. Okay. Our last 
for tonight. From Serbia, Ms. Diana Corner. Round of applause, please, for our best first, our first president show judge. From group number one, Ross Shorty Membro. Hi, Alexander. Villanueva. You're enjoying the show in uh, Marikina City. Marikina City, where's that, Brad? Marikina. That's, um, that's on the upper, the northern part. Okay. And we've also been joined in the USA by uh, the mother of Rebecca Cross. I see. Oh, hi, Rebecca's mum. You'll actually see her now. She's handling the uh, the Scotty, Brindle Scotty, in the ring now. We've got a strong lineup here, Brad. Yes, the very Corgi. nice dogs. Corgi, well known. Yes, that, that particular Corgi uh, won many best of shows before the pandemic. Including the World Dog Show Including in Shanghai. The World Dog Show. Newman. I, Newman. I understand that Rottweiler is an American Grand Champion. Same with the Scottish Terrier. You also have a very nice... Uh, so our cameraman has just taken us down the line. So our group one winner, the Corgi. And I don't know how do you pronounce her Christian name? Tiana? Tiana? Tijana? Tijana. The next, the, the first group I will judge will be the junior, the second dog show, right? Yes. So it will be at least 30 minutes, I think, at least. Not so sure. Depending on how fast the other judges will work. So at least give yourself about 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes, yes. Because there is Derby, then there is a minor puppy, then there is puppy. Yeah, there it is, yeah. So you're watching, we'll call her Tiana Conrad from Serbia. She's the uh, president of the Kennel Club of Kostelak in Serbia. Just many dog shows around the world. And she's our best in show judge for the Southeast Asia event, which is what you're watching right now. And uh, thanks Rebecca's mum again for watching. Do feel free to share or let other people know where the stream is. Uh, I can see Rebecca on the uh, screen now. She's next dog to be judged. She's got the Scotty on the table. So Rebecca's mum, tell us how do you think the dog goes now?
Gorčov Iša, Mena Boža, Neslabíčov a Strejaka a Dota Boha, Strejlen Šebrn, Hrdý, 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 I'll come to that question mark Taylor now in a second. So it's the, the ring steward uh, calling the names for the, the uh, classes coming next. A lot of support for that dog, it's possibly uh, Thailand or Korea maybe. So Mark Taylor, 12 shows, 3 shows per day, Southeast Asia, Asia Pacific and then FCI, so there's 3 shows. 3 shows, 4 days, 12 in total. And to keep things moving, all the uh, well, most of these are prejudged in the rings at the far end of the arena. And uh, Re Rebecca's mum. Rebecca's mum, glad you enjoyed watching uh, your daughter here in Manila, Philippines, with the Scottish Terrier. As you said, it was the son of Bopper. That was your famous Scotty. That was that the one that won Crufts. Now we've lost our uh, connection over here to see what comments are coming up. They've changed our screen. I don't know why. Oh, so it'd be nice if we could get that back on. We were over. Yeah, it would be so interesting to find out. Yeah, we had 130 people watching live at the time. So I'm not sure if uh, any of our team here at PCCI can actually tell anybody. Yes, it's back, it's back. Okay, we have our function back where we can see uh, your comments. So, uh, please keep them coming. And also the likes for the PCCI transmission, which is getting better each year when the shows take place, the uh, camera angles and the coverage in general. If you've just joined, this is Tiana Conrad from Serbia. And she's judging best in show at the Southeast Asia show here on the first day of the famous, now the world famous, Philippine circuit shows. This show, Fred's on the bucket list of a lot of judges internationally. They've heard all about it. Yeah, for one thing, we, we have been trying our best to, you know, not just invite the best, but also to entertain 
you know, to take care of our judges yeah. the best way we could. I think you take care of people all the way through, from exhibitors, you, you know, do so many times. You help them, you meet them at the airport, mm -hmm. you provide transportation. Uh, there's all facilities laid on in the hotel, your staff are there to answer questions. That, that's the Filipino brand of hospitality yeah. at work. Wow. You like the Oops. poodle? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like a little train going around there. So our final dog, Group 10, the uh, sight hound, the Saluki. Handled by an uh, Argentinian guy, Martin Egosque, a handler who pops up all around the world. I, I saw him recently at a big event in Mexico City in November. Multi-breed handler. Conrad. Tijana. Tijana Conrad. So, our judge has seen all ten dogs. Her turn to trim these down to the top three. The Corgis, Fred, had top entries with 44 dogs. Here she goes. So the pond takes third spot. You've got to think the Korg is in here somewhere. She's for second spot. She's... I think that's a dog you like there, Fred, as well. Yeah, if, if the that toy dog poodle. did not break in stride, I think yeah. he would have won this show. And this is the, the prize you were showing earlier on. She's uh, gone to the Rottweiler. Rottweiler? Yeah. He's a happy guy. Mm. Rebecca, your mum's watching. She's watching. <laughs> so there's uh, your first best you show for the weekend. Or for the, the 12 days, 12 shows rather. Do you know where he's from, Fred? I don't, I don't know him. Which one? The winner, the Rottweiler. Uh, that, that Rottweiler, from what I heard, is from Yes. Right. Ah, OK. I have, I have to leave you now. Fred's also going to do a judging stint. I'm sure you can hear Dinky announce all these dogs. So 
So this particular class is best Philippine born. And because the uh, three previous winners were not Philippine born, they got the opportunity to, to judge all 10 group winners. And our judge is from Slovakia, Linda Volikarova. And as Dinky said, normally she's the main speaker in uh, many of the important events around the world. So for example, back in December, she was the main ring speaker in Sao Paulo in Brazil for the World Dog Show. And earlier in the year, because we had two best two uh, world shows in 2022, she was also the main ring speaker in Madrid. That was the World Dog Show originally scheduled for 2020. So lots for you to watch still. We have two more shows, the APAC show and the FCI show as well coming up. So uh, definitely time if you want a, a glass of something or a cup of coffee, sit down and enjoy the stream. Any more questions or comments, folks? Please keep them coming through. A lot of comments from Rebecca's mum, and she says hi, by the way. Where in the USA are you watching from, Rebecca's mum? And I can't remember your name, so sorry for referring to you as Rebecca's mum. Here's another, uh, talking about Brazil, another handler from Brazil, the guy with the pug, Daniel Biloff. So already she's, uh, Linda's at the point of making the award to third spot, which is taken by the Beagle. Daniel takes second uh, spot with the pug. And here's your winner for Best Philippines Bread. Congratulations to our Philippine born. The, the pond takes top spot in the Philippine born. Judged by Linda Volarikova. Volarikova. And if you uh, ever see any of the shows that are staged in uh, Europe in particular, together with her husband, Richard, with P1 Dog Shows. They stage a lot of the, the main arena events with all the lighting, the music, uh, the background information. So it's certainly a lady well-versed in main ring activities at dog shows. So not many classes left in the Southeast Asia event. We start in the APAC show. So Asia, Pacific, and Oceania, of course. You might have heard Dinky introduce Kim LeBlanc from Canada. Thank you, Doreen. At least I know there's somebody out there when comments come through from Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Number eight, number 
So three shows taking place today, and we've completed every class in the Southeast Asia. So we've moved on to the middle event, the Asia Pacific and Oceania, A2O as Dinky's just called it. And this is Best Baby Puppy, uh, Judge Kim LeBlanc from Canada. Baby puppies from three to six months of age. So if you are exhibiting at the show, Dinky's just announced nine o'clock start in the morning. It was 12 noon today. So thankfully our judges are speedily going through because uh, it's already uh, quite, quite late tonight. So the, uh, the black lamp takes third spot. Beagle takes second baby puppy in show and our winner is gonna be the Tyridge Ridgeback. Anybody else watching from outside of the Philippines, let's hear from you. There's a happy owner with the tire ridge back. So here's the reason why Fred just had to leave us. He's going to be judging the next class. Best puppy in show. He's just headed over to prejudge. I think he's going to uh, announce him into the ring shortly. So it's Fred Salou himself, looking resplendent with his bow tie. A yeah, cheer from a lot of his PCCI colleagues Chair around the ring. Uh, thanks, Belinda, for joining in uh, the oh, USA hey. as well. well Linda well. Raymer, good evening. Well, good afternoon, well, maybe, where you are. So quite a lineup for Fred. Six dogs to be selected by Fred for further examination. And good evening. 
no, well, it may be good morning, is it Joyce? Joyce M in Australia, are you about a few hours ahead of us here in the Philippines? Anyway, good of you to join us. What's your favourite breed? Uh, Marco Magadangabi. Mille grazie. Ciao, Italia. Good evening, Manila. Thank you, Marco Amirati. Marco Amirati, thank you for joining. Do let the people know that this stream is on uh, YouTube. I don't know where they put a link on Facebook. Uh, Facebook, I always find, is a bit more immediate. Ah, Joyce, the Shih Tzu, the Group 9 dogs. Quite a popular breed, of course, aren't they, in, in Asia? Fred's just making his uh, short list here. Jack Russell, Australian Shepherd, a Bichon, a Pug, I think I can see. And uh, Norwich, is it, or Norfolk? Can't see from where I am. And also, uh, again, Ciao, Ciao Marco. Come and style, Marco. Come and style. And she's brought, uh, sorry, Fred's brought the peak in as well. That's his. Final dog in the six. Fred now giving each of his final six one more chance to show their movement around the ring. And uh, as he's not here as well, I, I can, without making him embarrassed, say that the work he's put into the uh, PCCI book, 60 years, is phenomenal. And uh, even though it's an expensive purchase, it is uh, very much worthwhile features a lot of the uh, top dogs of the Philippines, history of the club, a uh, number of the overseas judges that have been involved with the PCCI over the years, and of course, more recently, the PCCI circuit shows have all been featured as well. And Helen Kim, is that Helen Kim in Korea? In answer to that question, Marco, Sono Stanko, I think, is the uh, the expression. So, uh, Master Bhutan, where are you from? You're cheering for the Rottweiler. Rottweiler did well earlier on in one of our uh, classes from the Southeast Asia. And uh, Lili, is it? Lai Lai? The book is 4,500 pesos, but it's, it's a substantial 300 pages, top quality printing and paper as well. It's a, it's a heck of a coffee table book. You need a fairly substantial coffee table to hold this book. But a, a marvellous keepsake for anybody involved in the uh, history or the, or the club here in, in Manila. And if you buy it here at the show, I'm sure Fred would sign it for you as well, I'll dedicate the book. So 4,500 pesos, I've got them on sale on the Our Dog Stand, which is at one end, the opposite end of the arena to the, uh, the judge's podium. So Helen Kim, come back to me. Is that Helen Kim in Korea? It's the only Helen Kim I know. Uh -huh. 
Fred's just having one last look at the, the peak of the rolling gate here in the ring. And our steward's already primed with the rosettes for his final deliberation. Okay, Fred's ready, he's happy, he's called for the rosettes. So Fred places the pug in third slot for best puppy in show. Is the Bichon. The Jack Russell. So well done Fred, I think he's enjoyed his stint. We'll head off for the photographs and he'll come back and take over here on the, the commentary while I, uh, I'm going to disappear shortly. So it's live on YouTube at Philippine Canine Club INC Inc. I'm going to see whether the guys can actually put this also on Facebook tomorrow because they get a much wider audience, I'm sure. There are 130 of you stalwart people watching live. Thank you. Salam Apo. And only 10 likes. Come on, guys, give these, uh, give the club a few more likes. Encourage them. Some more of our the judges best here. The best veteran is a guy called Marco Lepazar. He's from Estonia. So only three for Marco to go over. Siberian, a Shidzu, that's somebody's favourite, and the German short haired pointer. I'm back. And uh, Uncle Fred's back. Yes, I'm back. Done with the duty. Yeah, well, you had quite a few dogs to go over there, Fred. <laughs> yes, actually, there's not enough time for me to inspect all of them in the pre judging. Yeah. There's just too many of them. Anyway, I, I, I hope I, I was able to choose the, the good ones from the little time that you know was provided. Sure. Well, there's, there's a lot to get through here. I mean, he's, he's quitting. He's only got three veterans. That was easier than you. Oh, yes. Don't you just wish that you know you'll be judging the veterans and not the... I could do that. <laughs> Third out of three. There you go. The GSP. Shizu's uh, in good, good, in good condition. Uh, yeah, why not? There you go. That's my choice. Fred, you know, like you just, uh, you just left me here for a little while. Okay. I'm just going to leave you for a little while okay. for a no couple problem. of reasons. No problem. But I will rejoin you. Okay. We still have um, one more show. Yep. Well, you've got um, best junior here. You've done best veteran. We've got to do best Philippine born. Uh -huh. We haven't had the derby here, have we? There's only one. Oh yeah, there's only one derby. Yes. Yeah, good, 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 good. Tomorrow we'll have another. Yes. Seven, 
Can we say hello to Helen Kim in Korea? Do you know oh, Helen? Yes, of course. So Helen's watching as well. I wasn't sure whether it was her or not, but she's just identified herself. Okay. Hi, Helen. We miss you here. That's a good point. There are friend Teatro Beagles. Uh, if they're watching on their television, they can't press a like. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. So get onto your iPads <laughs> or your laptops. <laughs> so that you can just press like. Yeah. <laughs> but you see, I was saying earlier on, if they, if they did a link through Facebook, I think you'd get a lot more viewers, to be honest. Okay, so we'll be with you in about, in a while. I see, okay. Yeah, it's getting pretty cold. Okay, so while um, uh, Vince is trying to find a way to warm himself up, <laughs> I will take over. For... It's going cool, it's the air conditioning press, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is the, this is the best junior in show. We have the representatives from the various groups. And also, we have uh, Mr. Lee. It's down as P. Lee. Now, is that? I'm not too sure. Again, tell us where you're from. I think I know who you are. Lee. So if you are watching from outside oh, of the Philippines, tell us which country as well. It's great to uh, to know we've got an international audience as well. So now we're moving on to the most, the most awaited section of this particular show.
the live streaming. Ten beautiful dogs representing the different FCA groups. Makes you wonder which one will finally win Best in Show this time around. Okay, I'll just check on some of your questions. Uh, Helen says, thank you so much. I think I should be there now. Yes, we would have wanted to have you here with us now, Helen. Maybe next year, okay, we'll, we'll be able to um, spend some time with you in the next edition of the Philippine Circuit Show. Okay. Um, Peter from Korea, well, that's a message for, that's a message for Vince. Helen says, uh, see many Koreans are watching. Yes, and there are a lot of Koreans also who are participating in this edition of the Philippine Circuit. Oh, we have a viewer from Poland. Powell Osak says, greetings from Poland. Hope one day, Powell, you'll be able to come to the Philippines and you know, either um, participate in the Philippine Circuit show, either as an exhibitor or as a guest. Master Buten Min um, says, would love to see French Bulldog in Best in Show competition. You know, um, there are a lot of French Bulldog entries, but the, the toy group or the companion group competition is very tough. Uh, in this edition of the Philippine Circuit, that's one of the tough, toughest groups to be in. You know, so many beautiful dogs representing the various breeds in the, the toy group. Hans Tanujaya says Doberman. Oh, um, this guy apparently is also from Indonesia and we have an Indonesian dog representing the group. So, good luck. The judge is signaling for the awards.
So our judge, the terrier expert, has chosen a Welsh terrier for her best in show. A beautiful dog, undoubtedly. Second best in show is a beagle and third best in show is a Siberian Husky. Three beautiful dogs. Our best in show for the night, our second show, second show of the Cyberred Cybred says shout out to Popo Salazar. He's there right now. Hans Tanijaya says yes from Indonesia. Yeah, the name says it all. Um, yeah, throw beagles. Will the results be posted in the PCCI website? Yes, it will be posted. Uh, at the PCCI website, but that will be done, I think, after the completion of the, the PCCI circuit. So that will be after Sunday. The, the staff of the PCCI is fully loaded as it is right now until Sunday. So I doubt whether they'll have the time to, to update uh, the, the results on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, P Peter Friedrich Bergstold says, Hi everyone, this is Peter from Austria watching. Nice to hear from you, Peter. Hopefully, you'll get to visit the Philippines and watch the Philippine Circuit Show personally one of these days. Yes, AKC Nugget One says, It's a Scottish Terrier. That's our best in show. Nugget One is the mother of the handler of the best in show winner. She said, Way to go, daughter Rebecca. Congratulations, so much fun to watch. It is, especially if you if you win best in show in one of the most competitive shows in Asia, it surely is so fun. <laughs> Congratulations. I, I wonder whether you have some. Uh, rather, other than being the, the mom of the, the handler, whether you have any hand. Um, when it comes to the breeding of this particular best in show winning dog, please drop us a line. Okay, so our judge right now is choosing best Philippine born in show because the winners uh, of the best in show are not Philippine born. So that's why we have the, the competition for the best Philippine born in show.
Oh, so uh, AKC Nugget owns the sire of this particular dog. Hmm. Congratulations then. It's a beautiful dog. Yes, uh, Master Budden says, is this best Philippine Morning Show? Yes, what you're seeing right now is the best Philippine Morning Show competition. Again, we still have one more, one more show before we call it a day, and this will be the FCI show. Every day we have three shows. Um, the first, the first blessing show is always the Southeast Asia show, uh, followed by the APAC show, and then lastly by the FCI show. <laughs> okay, I'm missing you, Beans. <laughs> Our judge from South Africa, Miss Louise Wilson, is now making her final go around, selecting her placements. Thank you. 
Our judge Lewis Wilson chooses or chose a Norwich Terrier for her best in show. Now we are about to approach the final show for the first day, the MCI show, the MCI International Show. The final show for tonight, our third of the 12 shows. Yes, uh, yes, means uh, Lewis mentioned during our conversation this breakfast that she has actually moved over to the UK uh, just before the pandemic. Um, and she has been staying there since then. Unfortunately, her um, credentials uh, still is with, well, it's now with uh, the FCI headquarters in Belgium because the UK has not, uh, I think, has not approved her credentials yet. So she cannot, she cannot be called a UK judge just yet okay so she's still judging uh, using her credentials uh, from the FCI headquarters in Belgium hopefully she will get her um, UK recognition uh, as a judge as an old judge <laughs> You're right. You're right, Vince. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> nice. Well, each country has its own rules, I guess. So that's the UK, that's the kennel club for you. I'm sure they have the reasons. Anyway, hopefully Louis will be able to get her um, kennel club recognition pretty soon. And she can now uh, be called a UK, a UK judge. Hopefully it will take just a, a little while. So this is now the the first set for the FCI show. The best baby puppy competition.
Helen says, uh, where is Vince? Vince has to go and do some business outside. So <laughs> he just went out for a while. Hopefully he'll be back before we finish up with the best in show judging for the FCI show. Meryl's, Meryl asks, which is advisable, free stock or holding the dog to pose? Just curious. Uh, let me let me answer that from the perspective of a judge, okay? Um, if I were to judge a dog, I would rather judge a dog pista than a dog that has been post uh, or a hard hard stock, um, because um, if a ja if a dog is standing on its own, then um, there's very little that um, that cannot be seen. Whereas if a dog is being hard stuck, a good hander can actually sculpt a dog to approach the standard the best that it could. Uh, in, in other words, uh, a very good hander can actually hide a lot of the faults that, he, that the dog would have just by uh, just by properly setting up the dog to conform as much as possible to the standard. So it's like, if I were to say it, it's like when you're cooking, a uh, pre-stock would be cooking without any additives, just the natural ingredients, okay? Whereas, um, hi. Good luck for tomorrow. Now we have our best junior show. Best junior show starts for tonight. The vice president of the Asia Africa in the Oceania section. Okay, we'll be having a, the best in show already, Vince. 
You better show up. <laughs> As I was saying, you know, free stocking is like when you're cooking and you're just using the natural ingredients, not not uh, not monosodium glutamate, not adding monosodium glutamate or any flavor enhancers. Okay, because if you hard stock a dog, then it's like cooking and you're adding all these additives to make it more delicious. Okay, um, Meryl uh, asked another question. How about during the walk? Is it advisable for the handler to run or allow the dog on their own pace? Especially on Labrador Retriever since I'm a big fan of Labs. Now, um, strict handlers, uh, um, strict judges actually would ask the, the handlers to run or move the dogs on a loose lead that basically says you give uh, a certain amount of leeway for the dog to move on its own so that should tell you a lot as to which one is preferable okay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> but no more. It's it's now gone. I don't know what happened. Oh, we're back. We're back.
So uh, welcome back, Fred. <laughs> nice, to, nice to see you again. The mysterious Vince is back again. <laughs> yes, the master is back again. <laughs> there were reasons, there were reasons. That Helen Kim in Korea, she spotted that, sneaked away. Uh, I have also gone live on uh, my Odo Facebook page because uh, we have a lot of people following uh, our dogs. So uh, I want to speak to your technical guys tomorrow to see whether we can get this link across. Yeah, on. Please do. Facebook is much more immediate. You know, you can see immediately I've got people joining on here. You know. Yes, uh, we'll, we'll ask Carmina to assist us. Yeah. First thing in the morning. So it's uh, it's the final best in show of the day here, Fred, isn't it? But it's uh, it's been a busy old day for everybody. It's been a busy old day. All day. If anybody's watching on my live stream and I'm talking to somebody called Fred, I'll show you who he is. He's called Mr. Fred Salou. I've known Fred now for about seven or eight years, I think. Yes. Since yes. Um, I did the show in uh, SM Megamall. Yes, that over the there. first one that's in the, the, no. SM Megamall. That yeah, would the, be the second one. Yeah. Yes, that would be in 2014. Thank you, Mr. Viet Pham, who's joined on the Our Dog stream from uh, Vietnam, although he's here at the show. And somebody was asking earlier on as well about the stack. Did you see that? Yes, question? I did answer yeah. that question. What was your uh, view on that? It's hard stack versus um, you know free stack. Free stack is always better, especially from the point of view of the judge. Yeah. Because you don't see any manipulation. Yeah, the dog uh, is is uh, natural. On its own. Yeah, Vivian Nelson, I think you pressed the wrong button. You don't want to be in our video unless we want to show us where you're sitting. Vivian Nelson says, hi, Fred, from the Hello. UK. And Amy Baranzak's joined you. She's a, a Chihuahua breeder in the UK as well. So if anybody you're looking out now, Fred and I are sitting here. We've got a kind of a module. So there's the live stream for PCCI on, um, that's on YouTube. So uh, that's the stream put out by the official uh, crew here and then uh, we can see people's comments over there on YouTube as well. Thanks Linda for sharing. Hello, Car Saludos Carlos Alberto Rodriguez. Where are you viewing from Carlos? And hello Hilda in Belgium. So these are people who are joining. So we've got two commentaries here on the go, but it's only for this this last class here, friend. So people now watching from Belgium and Spain and UK. So this this arena as you can see it's a bit empty in those seats up top. This is just like Madison Square Gardens in New York. Hola Carlos in Mexico. Buenas tardes. Como estas? And Billy Henderson in Northern Ireland as well. So uh, our judge is Anna Mesto from Spain. So this is the third best in show. Fred been explaining to the uh, Philippine viewers or the, the YouTube viewers here. It's the third of three and this is emulated each day, four days, which is how we end up with the 12 shows, which a lot of people in the UK are quite staggered when they hear that there's so many events taking place. And Mr. Martin Egosque from Argentina, but uh, Martin is actually here in the Philippines. He's, he's been handling a number of these dogs as well. 
Thank you, Morris, for sharing. And well done on your win in the UK recently as well. Hello, Brian Hill. So the show here is sponsored by Happy Pet, Fred. Who are Happy Pet? Uh, that's, a, that's a local company, if I'm not mistaken. It's an, a, a new entrant into the market. And they, uh, they willingly uh, agreed to be our major sponsor for the show. But willingly? Yes. <laughs> Did they know how much it was going to cost? <laughs> Yeah, a million pesos, it sounds a lot. So again, if you are just joining us, this uh, this is the final class of the day. It's the FCI uh, International Show. Our judge, Ana Mesto from Spain, is the lady there in the pink. And just a few hardy exhibitors around here at the end of the show. The judging started at 12 o'clock, Philippines time, earlier today. A famous dog there with the Corgi, Norbert Newman, a Korean top winning dog. And uh, Samoids have been doing well today as well, Fred. As has this beagle. Is this the beagle? Same one? Yes, that's the beagle. You Hamlet. should know. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> the, uh, the beagle's called Hamlet. Nice one. It's, a, it's a pretty nice. Very honest looking dog. Our cameraman's just looking at a table here. Oh, that's better. Now we can see the dog on the move. He's obviously got his supporters club here as well, Fred. So Handa lives in Serbia, I think. Anastasia. So uh, judging back here tomorrow is earlier, isn't it? Yes, we will start at 9 a.m. Uh, unlike today, the, where we started at 12 noon, yeah. tomorrow we will start at 9 a.m. Hopefully we will finish the, much, the, much yeah, early. Very civilized starting at 12 noon though, I like that. You can have a lie-in and a late breakfast. Uh, we on our, my little stream of my own, Mika Kuhlmans has joined us in Holland. Very famous lady in Affenpinches. Ferdinando uh, yes. Rodriguez, Ferdinando, Fernando, where are you watching from? And Ricky Venter is in South Africa, if I remember correctly. Lady in Shih Tzu's. Hi, Ricky. So again, just to repeat, if you have just joined, this is the FCI show. We've already had Best Junior, Best Puppy. Uh, judges included Kim LeBlanc from Canada, Marco Lepizar from Estonia. Fred Salou has been judging himself, the, the main commentator here at the show. Fred, you make all the announcements throughout the day as well, so you've yeah. got to keep your eye on things. Yes, I, I, I'm wearing so many hats. <laughs> There's enough people still here to make a little bit of atmosphere, but it, it's yes. the same anywhere in the world. Usually at the end of the day, everybody's had to pack up and head home. Only those that are competing for the best in show. Yeah, and their team. Now that was a good free stack. Did you yes. see that one? Yes, yeah, the, uh, yes yeah. it is. So, so it you can see how, how much more impressive it is. Yeah. And it also tells you how, how well the dog has been trained. And they say that, you know, if a dog is well constructed, it will generally land correctly yep. on its form. I don't like the use of those those sort of <laughs> those stacking things. We've seen them, they come in the States and that's, that's good. The training, the training blocks. Yeah, correct, yeah. So hi Ricky again on my stream from South Africa and uh, say hello to Katty as well next time you speak to, uh, to her in Germany. Again. Yeah, this is a dog Fred likes earlier on, I think. Yes, I, it's the sea whether it will break its its uh, yeah. No, I'm cheating now. I'm live streaming the uh, the official live stream. <laughs> I got my own cameraman there. Yeah. Oh well, it's it, it's it works. moving. Yeah, it works. It's moving it works. Much much better.
No problem, uh, Mika, over there in the uh, Netherlands. And uh, you probably didn't hear this on my, my personal stream earlier on, but Fred, the commentator, is, uh, is published with his team a superb coffee table book. And uh, it, it's a big book, 300 pages plus, uh, available on the iDog stand here at the show for 4,500 pesos, but it's an anniversary of 60 years of the PCCI. A couple more hellos, Wendy Stevens in the UK, famous German Shepherd owner, and uh, Mr. Zsolt Hanno in Hungary, himself uh, uh, another famous handler and world winner. He's won world dog shows, European dog shows. Generally handling them an old English sheepdog. So good evening, Zon Hanno. So Anna Mesto's now gone over each dog. She's just having a, a final glance. And, uh, Who's it going to be, Fred? Very careful look. A very careful look. Corgi. It's the first time he's been placed actually in yes. the three vesting shows as well. This yes. is uh, our friend from Korea with Newman the Corgi. Wow. That's the showmanship for you. Yeah. That was the dog Fred was talking about that uh, was well stacked and moved well as well. No, it's not best. No, it isn't. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, she's just congratulating everybody. She might send them around the ring again. You never know. She's got one of my rosettes there as well. I sponsored rosette. No, it is going to the dogs, but, uh, She fooled us all there, Fred, at the end. A double wow. award. So I don't know that Billy Henderson's watching there in Northern Ireland because I know he's a Doberman follower. And there's your judge, Anna Mesto. So I know that's a, a short broadcast on the Our Dog Stream. Hi, Wendy Stevens. You just judged in time to, to watch your friend Anna Mesto judge it. Very nice. <laughs> but uh, camera work courtesy of the PCCI. So do make a note of this. It's on their YouTube channel. I've put the link on my page as well. So, uh, Fred, I'm going to sign off. I'll see you tomorrow, probably. Yes, yes. Well. We will we'll try to be here as early as possible. I'll be judging again tomorrow. Right. But that will be towards the last. I'll come over for the groups. Thank you for having yes. me here, Fred. Thank you so much. Okay. I, I expect you to be here with me again <laughs> tomorrow. It's a pleasure. Right. Okay. I'm going to, somebody's just joined us from Nepal. Oh. She, yeah, she's halfway up a mountain in Nepal. There you go. Just before I sign off, let me just greet Pat De Conning. Um, hello, hope to see you again someday soon here in Manila. Meryl says, how many rings today and tomorrow? There are a total of nine rings. Every day there will be nine rings. Okay, and there will be, that will be good for three shows every day. Okay, signing off, thank you very much. Hope to see you again tomorrow.
sure if you're still live here on the live stream but that's the end of today's judging on day one so I hope you've enjoyed it and there were certainly close on 150 people I think watching at one stage and uh, do subscribe to the channel you pick it up again over the next three days Fred Salou will be here during the day as well for any of the streaming from the, uh, the individual you know what the from the inside out is all about Keep the comments coming true as well if uh, you've got the Our ability to do that. The Happy Pet High Protein Formula and our senior kibbles with the Happy Pet Golden Plus Formula. And uh, interesting for some of those comments coming true as well. Happy Pet 100% Pet Approved. Thanks for watching in South Africa and Mexico and UK. And also uh, like and join on the Our Dogs uh, Facebook page as well. And if you're here at the show, come and see us. Thanks everybody, and uh, touch base again with you on Friday. I can see in their coat. It's nice and shiny. They smell good. The dogs have the energy that I need them to have.
We are Pet Options, and we care for them all, big and small. Here are our product lineups, perfect for small animal practice. Pet Options, we care for them all, big and small. Baby, I'm home! Oh. <laughs> Happy as ako kapag listo at ganado siyang kumain. Happy and healthy siya sa Nutri-Chunks. Recommended by my vet. Nutri-Chunks is the only one with active boost and prebiotics na pampalisto. Made with real meat and fortified pa with essential nutrients that help keep him strong, healthy and happy. Listo ganado sa Nutri-Chunks.